Okay, so uh, before we start, uh, let me, uh, Chang Sung and I just give you some uh, uh, ideas. Uh, welcome to this uh, information session. And uh, Sung and I uh, have uh, attended a um, uh, workshop, and we attended a similar workshop um, a few years ago, two or three years ago, and then um, given by Professor N. Cui. And uh, since then, we started to offer this course at Hong Kong Baptist University. And so uh, this is the first time we want to expand our uh, course to um, uh, students and colleagues uh, from other part of the world. So this is a, a global uh, effort all right, uh, introduced, uh, initiated by Professor Chui. So, um, uh, I think the purpose of today, today's uh, uh, brief information session is to let you know more about the course. All right, so it's, uh, it seems to me there, uh, let's wait for another uh, two or three minutes uh, and to start. Maybe we can invite some of the participants to tell yeah. us uh, who you are, uh, things like that. Yeah, so it's a uh, yeah. warm up session. So any one of you want to uh, tell us who you are? Voluntary, are you? voluntary yeah. Tell us uh, and, and other participants as well who you are, why are you interested in the course, things like that. Well, we're waiting for more people, okay. <laughs> Anyone? Peter? Justin. Justin. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, my name is Justin Pepe. Uh, I'm a third year doctoral student at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, right. I actually, I attended a, um, an RRBM information session at Academy of Management, not last year, but the year before when we were still in person uh, in Boston. Okay. Uh, and it was interesting, you know, and in, in the principles that were uh, mm -hmm. outlined then. And then I saw about, you know, saw this program and I'm doing, a, or I'm hoping to do my dissertation and uh, in a topic that, that I think aligns uh, very well with this mm. um, philosophy and, mm. uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, this will just sort of help, help me with my research and uh, as, I'm, as I'm going through the dissertation phase in my program. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh -huh. Anyone? Joyce? Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. Um, I met Justin. I met you at SMA a couple of years ago when we were still in person. Oh, yeah, and, I know, right. <laughs> uh, I think um, I have some other colleagues on the in the call that you know me. Um, so I I go to Michigan State. I'm entering my fourth year. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a rising fourth year, finishing up the third year is over, the semester is over. Um, and I'm just interested in this course because I'm interested in deepening my knowledge about um, how to be responsible as a researcher, what that means to different people, the philosophical foundations of responsibility as researchers. But the, were there any other questions I was supposed to answer that I forgot? No, 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 it's okay. No, no, just, no, it's uh, just uh, we're waiting for more people to come. <laughs> and uh, so uh, let's just, yeah. So we take this time to know each other. Yeah. So I think, Justin, then if you attended Boston uh, a, a Academy, I, I might have met you because I was in that session too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anyone wants to uh, tell us where you are and uh, where you're from and... Uh, Anything about you? Anybody? Okay. Uh, well, if not, uh, uh, shall we start soon? Yes. yes, yes okay. Yes. All right. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, basically um, uh, uh, when Anne and started the whole project with uh, uh, many senior uh, professors in our field, uh, they had this... Uh, responsible uh, research in their mind. But uh, I, I think uh, she started this course uh, almost seven years ago uh, in China. And then and, uh, she wanted to uh, 
uh, involve more people to discuss uh, uh, philosophical foundation of research in general, and then we uh, gradually move towards a responsible research idea. So uh, in this session, I will briefly tell you the, the background of this uh, <clears throat> RBM, uh, and then uh, Song will, uh, uh, will will introduce the present the key features of our, our course. Our course in Hong Kong is very similar to uh, what they offer in the U.S. and in Europe, uh, because we, you know this uh, everything was based on uh, Professor An uh, um, uh, original uh, course uh, developed seven years ago uh, here. Okay, so here is my. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you the uh, today's session. Uh, basically, we uh, we know your profile, and uh, we we have uh, we know that many of uh, uh, our participants come from different uh, countries and different universities. And so this is what uh, we really want because uh, now uh, there are only few institutions in the world uh, offering similar courses. And so Anne's idea is to uh, uh, expand it online and so that more uh, students and colleagues can join this kind of uh, uh, conversation on uh, responsible research. And uh, and so I'll tell more about tell more about the instructor, instructors in Hong Kong and uh, different places. So then I would uh, cover uh, the background, the purpose of the course, and then the description of the course. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is in the U.S. We, uh, there are four instructors and some two more co-instructors, and I uh, I think they have already offered the first. Uh, they launched first course. Um, but in Hong Kong, it's me and Song. So we were, uh, uh, of course, there are similar courses in, in China, but they, they were, uh, they are run in uh, Chinese language. This is only uh, English uh, course offered in Asia. Um, uh, so this is the, the background uh, of, uh, uh, this is the background of, uh, uh, of this course. And uh, basically, uh, uh, Professor uh, Choi uh, many years ago tried to uh, uh, bring us to uh, the, the the reason of uh, uh, the, the reason why we develop uh, scientific research in in the area of business uh, so before 1950s uh, I think uh, in most of schools at that time there most business schools are in the US all right? most US business schools focus on practice uh, basically uh, at that time many of the uh, business school professors and uh, researchers focus on how to resolve the real world problems uh, in uh, in organizations. But then, uh, uh, since uh, uh, late 1950s, um, uh, uh, Gordon Howell published a paper, published book, criticizing uh, business schools' research, saying that they are. Uh, mo most of our research at that time uh, lack uh, rigor. So we, we were not doing scientific or research or evidence-based research. So they call for more rigor in, uh, in research methodology and theorization. So since then, there was, uh, you know, in the U.S., actually led by most U.S. Uh, uh, schools, uh, many business schools start to do start to, uh, 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 to focus on uh, research, uh, what kind uh, the, the, uh, the research Nowadays we focus. So in the past we strong very uh, uh, on relevance, but then in uh, 96 there's a rapid increase in rigor and the emergence of major theories. So at that time, you know, uh, in the in the two uh, from 96s to 1980s, most of the major theories in our field were developed right during that period of time. And then after 1990s, um, then we have uh, seen uh, a, a trend. Uh, of research focusing more on rigor, right? Less on uh, relevance. So our theories uh, started to uh, 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 leave away from the problems uh, in in real world. So we we re I think you may know that we have received a lot of criticism. So in the last uh, uh, one or two decades from from industry, saying that we're we are in living in an ivory uh, ivory tower and we're not uh, really caring too much about uh, how our research is relevant. Uh, so uh, because of this, um, 
um, a group of uh, we have uh, we have to put uh, we really need to put uh, uh, in the context problem we're trying to uh, correct. So um, and uh, that's why uh, we start to uh, I think uh, uh, Anne and and her uh, uh, colleagues have started this uh, movement. I, I, I see this as movement uh, towards responsible research. Uh, basically, the idea is that um, in the future, that this is how they imagine, they, they, how they imagine the future of a business school. So in the future, the business school should create knowledge which is so attractive that, uh, and uh, to business that we can really help, uh, uh, help, help people in organizations resolve their problems. And also, we, we still uh, retain the rigor of our science. So this is uh, what they. If you are interested, you can you can uh, search on the web to see the, these uh, um, position papers uh, on uh, responsible research. The the uh, the key idea of this responsible research uh, is that uh, basically we should care about uh, uh, we should uh, both science and society. So. Um, so in, in when we do research, uh, what is good research uh, to, to us is that uh, we produce reliable knowledge, okay, which is uh, which which can be replicated, all right, across different contexts uh, for different organizations to some extent at least, and uh, so we we should uh, uh, maintain the rigor of our research methodology and our theorization. But at the same time, we should really care about society. So uh, because of these two things, in our course, we, we focus very much on the foundation of science. So what's the purpose of science in the first place? So what is science? What is not science? What, what are the implications for, um, for our, uh, 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 our stakeholders? Okay, so um, um, uh, in the course, we at the beginning we discuss more about uh, the origin of scientific research and also the the problems and issues the challenges of uh, social scientific research. Okay, and then we uh, we uh, at the uh, later part of our course we focus on on the relevance part on on a, on a social responsible uh, approach to uh, business research. Okay. And uh, responsible research is this is how, they, how we define this is scientific. This is a scientific work that produces credible knowledge, right, with either direct or indirect usefulness for addressing problems. So responsible research produces credible and useful knowledge that contributes both science and society. So repeatedly, basically, you, if you look at the, their position paper, this is their core idea. So um, there are many. Um, um, there are uh, many initiatives have been uh, um, uh, carried out uh, to improve the rigor of science. Uh, like we, we now we have a open science movement. We have you know most journals focus on transparency. So in our course, we talk about this, many of these problems because if you look at the research in the past, in, in business research in general, uh, finance, accounting, uh, organizational behavior, and uh, strategy. We, uh, um, in the past, we did not focus too much on this uh, uh, openness and transparency. And we do not know uh, how, uh, in greater detail, how uh, those published works uh, have been done, right? Uh, how to replicate uh, the existing uh, research. And uh, so this, these are the, uh, so because of this, we have this uh, pre-registration, right? Um, and, and, uh, practices in many journals, so we we try to uh, 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 challenge, question the uh, the p, the magic of p values. So, uh, what does uh, p value mean? In our course, we talk about, we discuss these issues. These are to uh, to me and Song. These are philosophical issues. This is scientific. Uh, it belongs to the field of uh, of, uh, of philosophy of science. So, and uh, I think uh, um, uh, through discussing these issues, we will we, we'll help our students have a deeper understanding of what we're doing here as social scientists, right? So what, uh, what can be seen as a valid knowledge, what is not uh, valid knowledge in our field? 
And so uh, reference is, uh, is, uh, is also an important issue. Um, uh, basically, uh, in many fields in, in, our, uh, in business, like in marketing, in uh, AMJ, in general marketing, they discuss a lot about how, how, how we can make use of uh, our research um, to contribute uh, to the society to make a better world, right? So, so in the in their uh, RBM uh, position paper, position uh, statements, they are really thinking about in the beauty of our work, uh, which you know can, uh, and it's not just you know doing. You know, uh, I think uh, Anne always criticized me and a few uh, few of our uh, colleagues in China and Hong Kong. We focus too much on the negative side of organization. So we publish a lot of papers on abusive supervision. And uh, so she always challenged me. Whenever I publish a paper on abusive supervision, and she asked me, what, what, what's the benefits for society? So, uh, so this is, uh, these are the issues we discuss, we debate in our course, okay? And so uh, another issue is uh, you can see that um, uh, there are uh, many journals start to have uh, introduced these responsible research awards. Uh, so in, uh, uh, AMJ, uh, yeah, finance, you know, I know, I think from N, I know that even accounting uh, and many other fields are moving towards this direction. They want to uh, 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 give credit to researchers in our field who really make good contributions? You know, I'm. You know, I can only give you my examples. I recently I, I helped um, uh, AM uh, Academy Management to review the best paper of the year uh, for the last year, and I I I, I read. Um, I, I I've gone I've gone through all the papers in JAP and uh, ASQ, and I found a few really really good research uh, papers, and uh, those papers uh, have a high relevance. Uh, to our society, like one one of the paper I remember is talking about how um, uh, how uh, this online platform uh, make use of, uh, make use of a technology a new technology to monitor and control uh, those platform users that like Uber uh, drivers, you know how how this kind of new form of uh, 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 control techniques, you know, make these uh, employees. Uh, leave even even worse uh, world, and uh, they they are under more control things like that. So, and they also suggest what uh, you know what uh, what uh, uh, these people can do to overcome this control and monitoring because of advanced technology. So there are many of these kind of research which is uh, really really relevant to the problems that we're facing today. So the uh, so this is uh, what uh, what we are. Uh, will repeatedly emphasize in our uh, course. So what's the purpose of science? So basically we, we are seeking truth, right? So what is truth? So in our course, we have a lot of debate, a lot of discussion on what is truth? What is uh, true? What is, uh, uh, for example, we discuss how do we know the things that we measure is true, right? Reflect capturing the phenomenon, the construct that we think we're capturing. All right. So these are and uh, 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 how can we know that our research can improve humanity? Okay. So in the I, I think in our course in Chang Sung and I we our favorite topic is is uh, uh, is a discussion on a paper uh, which criticized agency theory. You know, and uh, that 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 that's a really lively debate on you know what 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 agency theory. Uh, uh, really is, and uh, does it really reflect the truth? Already is a question, and uh, how 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 agent theory actually changed the way our thinking in the last uh, uh, forty years, and uh, and causing a lot of uh, harm instead of a benefits to the society. So so these are the issues we will discuss too. Okay. So um, uh, this is uh, the summary of uh, uh, response research. Basically, uh, we uh, this is uh, what we uh, uh, we want to uh, achieve. First, we uh, we go deeper into philosophy of science. Um, so uh, we will introduce a few uh, uh, key books in philosophy of science. So uh, to uh, to let our students to have a, a deeper understanding of the nature of science and 
the, the reasons why we develop all kinds of methodology. All right, so basically the, the purpose of, uh, of methodology is to make sure that we have sound science. And then we also need to think of usefulness of, of society. So in general, our position is that good science should be both uh, 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 sound science and useful for society, okay? Uh, so this is a good science, this is responsible science. Yes, sir. Okay, this is uh, uh, Anne always want us to show uh, from Einstein, uh, concerns for making life better for ordinary humans uh, must be chief object of science. Right? Never forget this when you are pondering over your these diagrams and equations. So don't forget the society, uh, just enjoying our own uh, mathematical games. Um, seven principles of responsible science. This is the, uh, also in position paper. Uh, uh, of uh, uh, PPBM, uh, so I, I highly recommend you to to read it because this is uh, 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 basically what uh, uh, we are trying to promote, uh, what we call responsible science. So it it, it covers all the the, uh, the two elements. Uh, basically, uh, uh, we have to understand uh, the first principle of service to society is the foundation fundamental is the foundation. So to bring benefits to all citizens right uh not the privileged ones and to avoid negative uh, uh negative uh, effects on society right so these are the um foundation and how does the study contributes theory and practice so this is what we normally say how why our our research can really advance knowledge right for humankind and for the society which disciplines and theories can provide deeper accurate understanding okay so basically we are uh, we are questioning, uh, we are uh, <clears throat> uh, promoting diversity, multidisciplinary research, multidisciplinary collaboration is not, you know, uh, one discipline dominates all and we need to uh, 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 be more open to different kinds of uh, research and theoretical uh, foundations to make our uh, work much <clears throat> rigor and relevant. How to ensure a credible findings? This is a, a back to the, the key question. So how can we make sure that our findings are reflecting the truth uh, in social sciences? Who and how are the stakeholders involved in study? So basically we, we, uh, we encourage uh, uh, researchers to, uh, to engage um, practitioners in their uh, uh, research, uh, uh, research process so that they can make uh, the research more relevant and then uh, how will the result be disseminated to the society? So these are the seven principles of responsible research. All right. Okay, so I think uh, that's the basic introduction of uh, uh, responsible research. Um, and now uh, I, I, we want to talk more about the, uh, the course uh, design. Um, uh, uh, the, basically, we, uh, we have a, a different... Uh, uh, four modules. The first one is uh, scientific reasoning and nature of social sciences. This is, uh, um, I think, uh, uh, my my uh, experience uh, of this is that uh, don't expect that you you learn some models and theorization techniques from this course. I think you learn more about uh, the reasons for scientific research. So I think uh, we, uh, Suan and I. I uh, have uh, really uh, learned a great deal from this practice because uh, after this we have a, we have a, a, a new a, a new way of looking at the work we're doing okay from scientific point of view okay and then uh, so uh, uh, then second part is a view on the progress in science uh, basically this is a, a key element of philosophical science so how do we know uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, activities improve over time. How do we know scientific practices, you know, uh, 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 advance our understanding and perspective? So in, in this part, this is, uh, we're going to go back to the history of science, okay? Then the last two parts are more related to responsible research. So we use some examples, we use some, uh, uh, some papers and readings 
uh, in the literature, in the, uh, in the field of uh, uh, philosophy of science, and also used many uh, really uh, uh, great papers written by business school scholars, uh, you know, uh, questioning and challenging what we're doing in, uh, in our field, okay? So uh, I will let uh, Song to talk about uh, the rest of it, the uh, course design. So uh, do you want to share your own PPT? Mm, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so I, the same one. It's the same one, but uh, it's easier for me to uh, yeah. control the flow. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so Professor Huang uh, just mentioned uh, the big picture of the course. Uh, so uh, the responsible uh, management uh, uh, research. So let me uh, talk about the, uh, the technical side of the course. Uh, so to me, uh, to us, it's a reading intensive and it's a discussion intensive uh, course. So basically you are supposed to, to read all the course material before the uh, class and then uh, uh, most of the class uh, time will be uh, uh, allocated to discussion and sharing. Uh, we also, uh, why is there three debates? Am I sharing the right? Uh, wait a minute, Sorry, I'm not sharing the right. Uh, should be okay. Uh, should be okay. Uh, I think uh, there are some uh, technical uh, differences among different uh, versions of slides, but there should be uh, four debates. Uh, and we'll talk about that later on uh, when we uh, go through the syllabus. So our uh, students will be uh, uh, required to uh, participate in the, uh, one of the four debates uh, to consolidate the knowledge they learned over the course. And uh, we uh, mainly use a, a group learning format. So students will be assigned into groups. So group will be uh, leading the class dis discussions and the groups will be uh, participating in the debates. Uh, so this is a course uh, particularly for students who wish to apply for the uh, uh, Dare to Care Scholarship. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how many, of you, uh, uh, how many of you in the session uh, are willing to apply for this uh, 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 Dare to Care because uh, one requirement, uh, one option uh, for students is to, uh, you can uh, develop a preliminary research idea uh, related to uh, sustainable development goals. So uh, you can see this, uh, these are the 17 uh, SDG uh, uh, defined by United Nations. And uh, it says, uh, says, uh, says an AMJ paper uh, by a group of uh, AMJ editors. Let me see. Uh, Oh, this is a link. Oh. Uh, just a couple of years ago, and this is a review paper, editorial review piece. So you can see actually the figure is from uh, here. And uh, the oh. Dare to Care Scholarship actually uh, identified the 17 uh, uh, SDGs. So you can focus on uh, any one of them uh, to develop your research idea. The good thing about the paper is, uh, as they mentioned, they reviewed many exceptional papers. Uh, each of them, uh, they focus on one goal and how did they uh, uh, conduct their study, uh, frame their uh, study, conduct their research, and uh, how did their uh, findings contribute to science. So uh, you can actually uh, follow, read, read these papers and uh, it could be uh, your uh, exemplar. You can follow these papers in developing your own research idea. If you read the reference, and you can see most of them are related to like uh, 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 whatever inequality, right? You can see, you can see, you know, can see. So, so read the paper, it's, uh, it's very important. It's connected to uh, this RBM initiative. Okay, uh, so the course schedule, uh, because uh, there, there are two parallel sessions uh, that we want to maximize the opportunities for students to learn. Uh, concerning the time difference. Uh, there is one session uh, uh, headed in US, as we mentioned earlier, uh, uh, mainly led by Professor Antre uh, and the other uh, uh, scholars. So uh, our session is quite similar. Actually, our session was uh, developed based on Professor Antre's uh, original idea. So they are very similar anyway. Uh, our session is slightly different uh, because it's a three credit one. Uh, so we have 13 sessions. Certain sessions, but uh, we'll have a national day uh, uh, holiday. So uh, you, uh, literally it's just uh, 12 sessions. So the first uh, two weeks will be uh, the preparation stage. Uh, we will go through the big picture again. And uh, the middle seven weeks, uh, 
uh, reading and the discussion intensives. So we will cover the main readings, uh, all the major readings of the course, uh, particularly the three books, uh, Okasha and uh, Rich George and uh, the Thomas Kuhn, and uh, some of the many additional readings on the responsibility of scientists, uh, particularly uh, uh, Merton and the Co uh, Merton and some other scholars. Uh, so the, the, we will have four debates at the end of the course. Uh, so each debate, will, each team will participate in the uh, two debates. Um, then uh, the last week will be the day for students to uh, prepare to uh, present their ideas, and uh, we can also discuss and uh, uh, give you uh, advice on how to improve your research framework. Uh, depending on the size of the uh, uh, participant students, uh, we may use two weeks to do that, but te temporarily let's schedule it for one week. Uh, so assignments, um, so basically there will be a, a lot of readings and the written assignment. Um, as, I, as I already mentioned, the, most of the class time will be devoted to uh, sharing and the discussion. Uh, so each team will uh, uh, be required to lead one or, one or two papers in each week, and each team would be required to prepare a couple of questions to facilitate the discussion. And uh, you uh, will be required to uh, send your summary and the questions uh, before the class uh, to, uh, to facilitate the preparation. So there will be four debates. Uh, for the format of the debate, I'm not, I'm not sure if you like the debate or not, but uh, our experience uh, was pretty good because it's, it's, uh, it will be held at the end of the course, uh, students would have opportunities to uh, go back, actually learn the course again and to prepare for the debate. So uh, the format is uh, each group needed to prepare an opening statement and send it to, uh, to all the uh, participants uh, right before the class. And then uh, during the debate, each team will uh, use uh, 10 minutes to present an opening statement and then each team will be followed by a 15 minutes Q&A. So they will be attacked by audience and the other group. And uh, again, so uh, each group will have uh, five minutes to make a concluding statement. So at the end, so audience will vote to uh, decide the winning team. Um, uh, so winning team usually will, uh, will gain us some of the uh, prize, okay? uh, ice cream, other things. So uh, very nice uh, uh, reward. So last part is uh, basically what I mentioned, it's a uh, return uh, assignment uh, for students who uh, wish to apply for a Dare to Care scholarship. So your proposal will be particularly uh, uh, related to uh, the 17 uh, SDGs I just already mentioned. So that's the technical side. Suggestions, uh, read everything uh, once during the summer. Particularly your group is a very a special one because you know the uh, syllabus much earlier than our regular PhD students. So you can uh, get uh, prepared much earlier than them. Uh, so you can uh, read because it's very, so some of the readings are very hard to read. You actually need multiple times to uh, read and you can get some message. So try to read everything once, uh, which will facilitate uh, the, uh, the learning effectiveness during when, when the course actually begins. So uh, Professor Huang and, uh, and uh, me uh, will help you uh, to develop your, uh, when you have problems and we can also help you uh, to develop your uh, research proposals. So um, some of the books, you, we needed to observe the copyright issue. Uh, you try to you, uh, buy your own book uh, because the course has been there for many uh, years. You can, there may be some uh, second, second book, secondhand books, you can try to borrow them. Uh, you, some of the books are available in library, but try to use these kind of uh, legitimate sources, okay? Mm. So uh, application deadline, um, we will email you the application instruction right after the meeting. Uh, basically, it's uh, your CV and uh, your interest and uh, uh, why are you interested in the course. And the deadline of submission will be around two weeks. I, I don't think it's a strict deadline, but uh, uh, roughly speaking, in two weeks. Um, so notify the status within three weeks. I don't see many students. Uh, so, uh, so, we, we, so we have some room uh, because this is a regular course for our regular PhD students, but we uh, usually we have some room for uh, participants. So uh, we can, uh, so uh, if you are very strong, so uh, we can uh, definitely give you a, a quota. It's a preliminary admission, okay, uh, but anyway. So uh, some feedback from uh, the past students. So uh, this student says this course is exceptionally useful in solidifying my ideas and the values uh, in science and scientific research. 
And uh, for any PhD student, regardless of uh, your uh, seniority, we have some uh, second year or third year PhD student, actually it's uh, still relevant to you because it's uh, very different from the uh, real research seminar, your methodology seminars, it's totally different. So uh, you can learn things like that. Even for faculty members, you can still learn. So, uh, so this is a statement, research methods uh, can guide evaluation tools and the theory course uh, mainly on the logics and the topics. And this one is uh, the, the building blocks, the foundation of uh, why we want to do research in the long run. And if you want to uh, create a value for the society, dare to care. And again, so this is a course for you, okay? And uh, it's a very first step for any social science, uh, science students. Okay, so before you start your career. So this is, uh, so uh, anyone, is anyone interested in looking at the syllabus? Uh, so let me, uh, let me go through the syllabus. It's a tentative syllabus. Um, it's tentative because uh, we were updated. Uh, the books are there, but uh, we were updated some of the readings uh, because we identify some uh, important readings uh, which are not uh, included in this syllabus yet, but uh, we're, we may do it over the summer. But the majority of the readings are here. Uh, so this is the background, of course, uh, Professor Huang already mentioned why we uh, want to have the initiative and the, what, what would be the benefit for the students. And we will cover the uh, principles, things like that, seven principles. The so seven principles actually will be used uh, as, a, as, a, as a criterion for, uh, to, uh, to award the Dare to Care scholar uh, Scholarship. So uh, we will offer certificates uh, for uh, auditing students, uh, but the certificates uh, will be uh, awarded only when uh, Professor Huang and me uh, think that uh, you are qualified. So your work is as good as those regular students, okay? So learning objective. So what is a scientific, uh, what is scientific reasoning? What is science? What are the challenges? What are the values? So all kinds of things. So, uh, it's uh, mainly it's a reading and the discussion, and there will be a, ma a main component of your proposal at the end, which will be uh, 60%. So the three main books are already discussed. So these are the core contents of the course, so the backbones of a course. And we will also cover uh, uh, some additional readings like the uh, seven principles, the IRBM positional paper, and the many uh, other things. So this is, uh, uh, is identical to the slides uh, I just show you. Uh, so the first week will be the general introduction. The second week is a very special one because uh, for those regular students, they needed time to prepare. Uh, for, for you guys, probably you don't need this, but we needed to think about the other students. Uh, so then there will be the seven uh, main weeks I, I talk about. So we'll cover these kind of books. So this uh, risk draw one is a particularly the, the most, one of the most important uh, books. That's why we want to split it into three weeks. So we'll cover some important uh, additional readings. So students will uh, be required to, uh, you will be randomly assigned to four groups and then uh, you will need to participate in those debates. These are interesting debates anyway. Uh, and this is also an opportunity for you to look at what you have learned of the course. So uh, debating TNC and the D and the NSC, whatever, okay? So you can read. Uh, by the way, so after the lecture, uh, after the session, we will provide the uh, syllabus uh, to you uh, uh, from, uh, over the link. So this is a national day or whatever, okay? Um, so you can go through the details. Uh, no. So the last one is an uh, individual essay. Uh, we, uh, based on, uh, based on uh, Professor An's uh, idea, so we uh, give you two options. One option is to uh, most, uh, most regular students. So you can focus on, uh, say, basically it's a reflection paper on uh, how, how, the, how the course uh, change your uh, view on uh, life and the science, okay? And then the option B is very specific, connected to the Dare to Care uh, scholarship. So I just show you the 17 uh, UN SDGs. So your role uh, in this proposal is to identify a goal and then develop a research proposal. Uh, so there's some more information for you. And uh, then uh, the proposal should have the following sections, uh, the problem statement, uh, why the SDG uh, is important and uh, what's your plan to do uh, to conduct. And uh, you also needed to combine 
the philosophy of science ideas uh, into your proposal? Uh, because the proposal will be evaluated based on the seven principles. Uh, these seven principles are, are just uh, based on the philosophy of science. And then um, AMD paper. So this is, uh, so uh, let's go, let's, uh, let me show you the dare to care. Where is the dare to care? I'm not sure how many of you uh, are interested in applying for the uh, dare to care. Well, well uh, uh, let me uh, add some a few things. Uh, first, uh, um, our experience, uh, uh, our experience is uh, that we um, we really push students to read a lot, um, mm. and because this is a uh, to me this is a somewhat a more philosoph philosophy type of uh, course, and uh, uh, the the books that you, uh, you can read are quite different from. Uh, the PhD training that you receive uh, in, in business schools. Um, uh, reading those philosophy books can be inspiring. And also you can never totally understand what they're yes. talking about, right? <laughs> so I have read these books uh, or five times, but every time I read them, <laughs> I got some new inspiration and new thinking about uh, science and our research. So I think this is a, uh, a really, really uh, a, a perspective changing type of experience, right, to me, okay? So uh, before each session, we ask our students to write a summary of the reading. So just one or two days before. So this is, uh, they have to write one or two pages on, on, on the reading, about the reading, even more, right? So, uh, so after writing up things, when they are in the class, they can really engage in the debate, participate in, 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 the, deba uh, in the discussion. You know, every time we, we discuss quite a lot, they raise a lot of questions and uh, we, uh, we, 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 we try to think about these questions and try to uh, uh, discuss. So uh, also we did a uh, mixed mode last year mm. uh, because Hong we are in a pandemic. In Hong Kong universities uh, uh, do not allow students to, uh, they allow students to come to campus, but uh, we, they also allow students to stay at home. So we did a, 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 this mixed mode. Uh, some students on uh, our face to face uh, or face to face, and the others are uh, online. And we did it pretty well. So even the debate, even uh, some students are, were online, some on, on uh, in the classroom. I think the debate went so well. And uh, but the good thing is that they wouldn't get a physical fight. They cannot fight uh, with with those guys who are online, right? But the, the debates are really really interesting. Um, uh, but uh, the the only thing that uh, if you join us, you have to. Uh, goes uh, you know you have to uh, stick to all the requirements that we we, we put uh, we we ask and we treat you the same as our ordinary students and actually although we offer this course in our university Hong Kong Baptist University uh, we attract students from other universities from Hong Kong and uh, because Hong Kong is very small the student the university are very close to each other so we have many uh, students from different universities already okay. Um, so the only thing that uh, if you join us, the only thing you miss is the ice cream. Uh, Hong Kong has the be world best ice cream that you never test. So maybe next time you're in Hong Kong, we can buy you ice cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Chan Su, please go ahead. Uh, so, so if you look at the uh, Dare to Care uh, scholarship, uh, you can see uh, this one is a very important date. Uh, this essentially uh, exactly uh, when we finish the class. So. So this, 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 this course would uh, benefit those students uh, the most to me because uh, after the class, uh, after the course, you can, uh, uh, you can write a proposal. You can see the requirement is you needed to uh, write a proposal uh, tied to the, to the SDG. Okay, so uh, you, it will be evaluated based on the seven principles of uh, research, uh, responsible research. So after the course, it's the right, right time for you to wrap up everything and then you submit the application to RBM. So that's uh, my note down here. Um, I think I have no more things. So let's uh, leave time for Q&A. Any questions from any questions? anyone of you? Uh, please, Justin. Um, I'm a little confused about how we, is the course 
a three credit hour course with Hong Kong Baptist. So do we have to pay tuition directly to Hong Kong Baptist or is this? It's free. Course? It's free. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, free, okay. but uh, you don't get the credit uh, because uh, we discussed it's uh, harder to go through the process to uh, allow uh, students uh, outside Hong Kong uh, to uh, offer credits, but it's free. Yeah. Cool. How yeah. many students can be accepted into the course of those that apply? Uh, uh, we cannot hear. Uh, uh, ideally, uh, how many students we normally take? Uh, ideally, we, don't, uh, we won't have uh, around 18 uh, students, uh, maximum 24, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we, we have a lot of discussion uh, mm -hmm. and interactions, so we don't want to expand it. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Any other questions? So based on our past experiences, uh, usually we have uh, 10, some uh, a little bit more than 10 uh, regular students. So we have uh, uh, quite some room uh, for extra quota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the only thing is that uh, if you're not uh, in Asia, uh, you need to get up early or, you know. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> the time difference. Yeah. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. you stay late mm -hmm. uh, at night. Okay, so, uh, Question. yeah, please, yes. please. Um, have you discussed maybe with the professors that teach the course in the United States if the discussions tend to vary very much between the class, the cohort in the United States and the cohort in Hong Kong in terms of the discussions or the debates? Uh, we don't. Uh, we haven't got a chance to to ask. Um, but in Hong Kong, uh, even in our group, we have uh, students from other countries, like from from U uh, Europe. I think we have two students from Europe in our class. So I think they, uh, I think they, are, uh, I think very similar. I think the behavior of students are very similar there. Uh, so uh, I I can imagine in the U.S. your uh, people. May have a better skill techniques of debating, right? And because of the uh, training, uh, but uh, I think uh, in when, once you come to this class, you cannot debate well if you don't read well. You don't have a material for debate. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I see one student, uh, so who uh, was going to say something, but I forgot. Yeah, so I, yeah, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, are the auditing students like an extra, like in addition to the regular, like the number of auditing students, is that going to be like extra number of people after you get, like after this class is filled or how would that? Or... Uh, 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 I think uh, the, uh, we, uh, we, we will set a maximum. Um, mm -hmm. mo most likely will be 18 or uh, maximum 24, depending on we discussed with, uh, with Anne. Uh, so we would uh, uh, give the priority to the full-time students first, but uh, in general, we don't have uh, more than, last year we have 14, right? 14 something, yeah. 14 something, and uh, if we spend uh, 10 quota, I think we have enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe we, you know, most likely we ha will have eight to 10 mm -hmm. extra quota for, for this mm -hmm. class. I see, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Well, if you uh, have any uh, additional uh, more questions, you, uh, you, uh, you please feel free to contact me and uh, Song, and uh, so we were happy to answer address your question. And uh, if you really want to uh, take this course and mm -hmm. read, you, you need to read uh, as early as possible and uh, to see whether you like it or not. Right? I like it when the first time I, read, I start read the books, I thought, oh, this is the course that I want to take. Okay. Oh, so you said you would send the syllabus after the call? Um, yes, yes, so we will send you an email uh, right after the session uh, uh, about the uh, application instruction together with uh, the syllabus. Yeah. But it's a tentative one because we, were, we may uh, make some changes. For minor syllabus. changes anyway, minor changes anyway, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, okay. so that's it for today. Thank you uh, for coming. Nice to meeting you, yeah. Yes, nice to meeting you.
Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.